intervals. So far, our rule that we've had is we've always had to have a connecting note. If I wanted to go to the C note, I'd always have to go from G to A to B to C. I couldn't go from G to C to F sharp to A to G. And that was against the rules until now. Intervals can be kind of fun to play. And when we're playing some intervals, we're going to use, at least in, at this point, uh, and we're going to kind of break our rules as we go, but we're going to use notes the 1, the 3, the 5, and then going back to the 1. So this is going to look like an arpeggio or a 1, 3, 5 arpeggio. So do, mi, so, mi, do. And I wouldn't have to use all of those. I could simply go do, mi, or one, three. And after I go to the one, three, I'm simply going to either go up the scale or go down the scale from that point. Or I can go up the scale, da, 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 and then make the skip to five if I want to. Da, 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 da. And whenever I make these skips, it's always going to be my jumping off point is either going to be my one to the three. My jumping off point was going to be the three to the five or three to the one or five to the one over here. At this point, we're just going to leave the jumping off points away from A, C, E, and F sharp and just think about the G, B, D tones. Thank you.